New York City Transit. So okay. we're so we're going to be talking about um like public transportation in New York. It's really interesting. Yeah. Um so to start off, do you take the train or bus to um to work or school? Oh, I drive the car. Oh, you drive. Okay. Have you ever taken the train or bus? Yes. Yeah, me too. Um, and how do you get to work? Uh, every day I drive my car. Drive my car to work. It's oh. very near. Just a five minutes drive. <laughs> oh, not bad. Yeah. So for me, um, I usually walk to my to get to work because I live right near it. Um, oh. and then uh, I go to school. So I usually take the bus when I need to go to places. Um, so we'll talk more about how that works in New York City later. Um, so we'll move on to the next page. And you could read the reading. And I'll let you know if anything's mispronounced. Uh, the first, yeah, the first paragraph maybe it is. Um, it's on page three. Oh, oh, let me see. Oh, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> the Metropolitan. Yep, Metropolitan. Okay, Metropolitan Transit Authority is New York City's public transportation agency. It is the largest public transportation in North America. To use the service, all you need to do is purchase a metro card. You can use the metro card to get on the MAT, MTA bus or subway train. It, conven it is convenient to use because the MTA operates around the clock for uh, a 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can use it to travel to any borough Borough, yeah. Borough of New York City. Yeah, nice job. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's talk about some of the vocabulary words that we saw. Um, we have agency. Agency is basically the business that's in charge of the ticket. Um yeah. and the company. Um and the other word is the verb operate. Operate, operate means just that it works. Um, so, um, like the um, the the metro operates twenty four hours a day, so the metro is on all the time. It, uh, there is there one large uh, agency in New York City that is metro. Yeah. So there's one there's one agency called the MTA, the Metropolitan Transit Authority, <laughs> and uh, so people call it MTA for short because you know that's a really long name, um, <laughs> and so they um, they operate uh, all throughout New York. It's the same company, yeah. Um, and then the last word we have is borough. Borough just mean yeah. Borough just means the neighborhood of the city. So, have you heard of Brooklyn? Uh, yes. So, Brooklyn is a borough of New York City. Okay, maybe we can call it a block. Is that the same as block? Um, so, a block is small. It's like really like this small little street. Oh, And then I a know. borough is like a lot of blocks together. Oh, I know. <clears throat> um, actually, well... A lot of blocks together, that's probably a neighborhood. Because in mm -hmm. Brooklyn, we have like Williamsburg, that's a neighborhood. Coney Island, another neighborhood. But it's all in the same region, which is called a borough. Okay, borough. All right, let's go on to the next reading. Mm -hmm. MTA buses transport uh, 2.4 million riders daily. And seven uh, seven hundred and sixty four million annually. R 
riders wait for the bus at a bus stop. Once the bus pulls up to the stop, the doors will open and the rider can board. The rider will then pay the bus fare by dipping, uh, dipping their metro card into the fare box. The rider can request to get off the bus by pressing the bus uh, the stop button or pushing the yellow tape string. Yeah, nice job. So how does a rider pay for the bus? <clears throat> Yes, uh, they dip the metro card into the fare box. Yeah, exactly. Um, and um, so the vocabulary we have is, um, we have annually. Yeah. That means once a year. So, for example, the spring festival, it happens once a year. Yeah. It's an annual festival. It happens annually. Um, the second word, we have board. So I board onto a train, I board onto a bus. It means I get onto it. Get, get on. Yep. Uh, and then the other word we have is request. So I ask for something. I might request okay. for, a, for a bus stop. Okay, and I have a question. Yep. And the, the bus, they dip the metro card into the bear bar box yep and that means they have many metro cars in their hands um okay so you see the picture right next to the reading yes do you see the guy holding the metro card on the top in the bubble uh, yeah. that's him dipping the metro card into the fare box oh so um people only have one card and that mm -hmm. card usually has a certain amount of money. Uh, uh, yeah. So you just keep on dipping it until um, you have, until it depletes, which means until it has zero. Oh, and they just, uh, they pay it into the fare bo box and then they take it out. Yep, they right? just go like that, okay. yep. Yeah. And maybe there is a sound ding and then they take it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, whenever I'm on the bus, I always mess it up. I put the card in the wrong way, and then it goes, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> Hey, that's interesting. <laughs> the bus driver will, I'll like hold up the whole line because the bus driver will be like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> okay, I know that. Okay, let's go on to the next reading. <clears throat> oh, more than four. 5.6 million people ride on the subway a day and over 1.7 million a year. Oh, that's too large. To use the subway, they must first enter a subway station, then you swipe your metro card at the turnstile. Yep, turnstile. nice job. Okay, turnstile. Walk through the turnstile when the screen says go. Wait on the subway platform, then board the train when it arrives. Yeah, nice job. Um, so how do you use the turnstile? Uh, then maybe a turnstile is a entrance which stops you um, until you get your metro card. Is that it? Yeah, so now the difference between this and the bus is that, okay. so this one has a picture as well. You see the did you see the top picture? Yeah. So those are the turnstiles. They're like these big gates. Um this yeah. this one you just swipe your metro card in. Mm. Um So, that's turnstile for the first vocabulary word. And then the second mm. vocabulary word we have is platform. Um platform is the second picture. Um it's yeah. just it's just the floor that you see. So it's a raised mm -hmm. platform that you can get onto the train on. Uh, it's a raised it's a raised surface that you can get the get onto the train through. Okay. And there is a subway in my city. <laughs> oh, so you know, yeah. It's uh, it's you uh, newly uh, used just oh. two months ago. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's go on to the next one. Um, so this is the comprehension. So just read mm -hmm. out the sentence and just tell me whether you think it's true or false. 
Okay. Now, A, the MTB is New York City's public transportation agency. Oh, absolutely, it's horse. It's <laughs> not horse. M. Yes. Uh, it's you... MTA, right? MTA. Yeah, do you know what MTV is? Yes, music telev television. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, there's a there's a there's a TV channel called MTV, yeah. but that's not the MTA. <laughs> <laughs> and B, you 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 use a metro card to ride the bus or train. It's true. True. Or so you can take the subway. Okay. Yep. And C, the MTA does not operate on the weekends. Uh, it's false because it it is. It gives service uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So D, NYC's transit system is the largest in North America. It's MTA, not NYC. And number E, swipe your metro card at the turnstile to board the bus, not dock the bus, the subway. At the subway, yeah. Um, at, for a letter D, um, it actually is true. Um, it it's says, true? yeah, New York yeah. City's transit system is the largest in North America. So they're talking yeah. about the MTA. Oh, yes. Yeah, NYC, New York. Yep. Oh, and I don't know that. <laughs> oh, NYC, yeah. the in North America? Yeah, we are in North America. Um, oh. It's... Um, North America is... Uh, it refers to both Canada, Mexico, and also um, the United States. Okay. Once you go below Mexico, that's more Central America. Okay, yes. Okay. Once you're ready, we'll go to the comprehension and just fill in the blanks. Okay. Oh, number one. She made a request to a new job. Is that true? Uh, Two. It should actually be four. Oh, oh, sorry. Four. Request for a new job. Yeah, so I request for a bus stop. I request for a job. I request okay. for money. Okay, and request is used uh, as a noun or a verb. Both are okay. Um, yes. So she made a okay. request or she requested to go. Yep. Okay. And number two, the MTA operates 24 hours a day. Operates. Yeah, nice present. job. Yes. Number three, 1.7 billion people ride the train. Annually, annually, we use adverb. Yep. And then number four, wait on the bus, um, uh, wait on the subway platform for a train. Yep. Is that right? Okay. And number five, New York City is made up of five boroughs. Boroughs. Boroughs, yep. Boroughs. And uh, what's the name of these five boroughs? Um, so it's Brooklyn. Um, Brooklyn? Yep. Staten Island. Island? Uh, Staten Island. Okay. Uh, the third one is Manhattan. Oh, uh, we're Manhattan. Manhattan. Okay, Manhattan. That's the one that, um, everyone knows because that's where, like, everything is. The Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building, um... Okay. All the attractions, um, shopping, Fifth Avenue, Macy's. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And now the the fourth one is the Bronx. Bronx. And the fifth one is Queens. Okay, Queens. Okay, and the last one, that last one. Okay, good. Uh, where where riders wait for the bus? Uh, at the bus stop. At the bus stop. Yep. Nice job. Um, okay, let's go on to the discussion. So, okay. what do you think of New York City Transit? Uh, I think it's convenient because there are, uh, there's a bus, uh, 
trains and the subways. But I heard that uh, the transportation in Britain is not as convenient as uh, USA. So mm. they use their own cars. <laughs> okay. And maybe it's convenient to travel around the New York. Yeah. Um, so New York City, uh, New York City's transit is really convenient because it's 24-7. So yeah. the problem with Britain is that the transit in London, um, I think they ju um, they might have just went 24-7, but they weren't always 24-7. Yeah. They used to close at a certain time, so it wasn't as convenient. You know, what if you need to take the train at 2 a.m.? Then you can't. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, some people do need it, but, um, and then the other thing is that, um, so in Britain, um, in Britain, you also have, um, the streets are a lot tinier, so it's like a lot easier to get to places. I feel like, yeah. um, New York is so big that you really need to, to, to take the train, to, to, take the, to take the metro. Yeah. Okay. Um, in uh in Britain they call it the tube. <laughs> okay, and I have a question and about the metro card, and if I have a metro card, uh, I can go everywhere with this card for many times. Um, so you could use it up to two times. So what it uh so what it is is uh it's three dollars and seventy five cents, um, for, per ride. So what happens is, so say I'm going from one one neighborhood to um, the central Central Park. So I'll use it, and then once I get off the train, um, you know, obviously, like I um. So if I got back onto the train and then um went to the other my other destination within two hours. Um, it's oh. only it's only one fare. Oh yeah, and I uh I went to the I went to London, uh last year, and uh, I have a card. Uh, I can use the card to go anywhere by bus for many times. And, yeah, same uh, as New York. Yeah. Okay, and number two, we go move on move to number two. Yeah. Do you prefer bus? public transportation okay uh, sometimes sometimes uh, you, yeah. you know, <laughs> because you know there's no 24 hour seven days in our city and uh, if I want to go somewhere that is too far away from my home and there is no buses to there uh, there so I have to ride my car right so maybe yes but for the environment, uh, I hope uh, everyone can take the transportation, the public transportation. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's definitely good to take public transportation because it's convenient. But obviously, there yeah. are some disadvantages where it closes in some cities, um, yeah. and um, it's also it, it also could be very dirty sometimes. Um, it could be crowded. So yeah. that's that's a good point you brought. Um, all right, number three, is it, is it common to use public transportation in your city? Uh yes, uh, especially the subway, Muni, uh, Star, and you know every day, uh, some people just uh, take the subway for fun because it's very convenient and very cheap. Okay, the beer is very cheap. <laughs> and uh, in some platform, there are many beautiful pictures at the platform. Yeah. And you can take the photo here. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. Mm. Um. Okay. And now for what? What city do you live in, by the way? Oh. Guizhou. Guiyang, Guizhou. Do you know Huangguoshu Waterfalls? I think I know your region because I think there were some other students from there too. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, and number four. So should transit fare be affordable and why? Oh, sure. 
uh, because that is the public transportation that is for the people uh, from uh, different uh, backgrounds. So uh, maybe I think if it is uh, affordable and it gives the chance to more people to take the public transportation. Yeah, I think of it like this. If you can afford a car, you should be able to afford the subway, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it needs to be an option for everyone. You know, it needs to be fair for everyone to get to places. Plus, if it's not if it's not affordable, then the environment suffers. So. Yeah. Yep. Well, that's our last question for uh, our lesson. Um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Um, I'm going to send you a survey based on what you thought on the lesson. And yes. It was nice meeting you, and I'll probably see you <laughs> next time, all right? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I... <laughs> yeah, same.